and a big change for commuters. Five Orange Line stations are open again for the first time since Memorial Day weekend. 7 News reporter Joy Wang is live with a behind the scenes look at what riders can expect. Enjoy. You got so behind the scenes, you got a vest and a hard hat. <laughs> yep, I had to wear the vest, the hard hat, follow all the safety measures. I even had the glasses on as well. That is not the case this morning because just like all the other riders, we are ready to go to show off all the security upgrades above me. You can see that there are LED lights, 7,000 of them that WMATA has installed, and that helps with making things, of course, brighter and energy efficient on the ground. There's grippier tile right here, which has definitely been more helpful today because of that rainier weather. Just a few of the many upgrades riders can expect as they head out the door this morning. These are new. We got a behind the scenes look at those changes just a few days ago. This project actually came in under its $436 million budget. The five stations along the Orange Line between Minnesota and New Carrollton have been closed since Memorial Day weekend. It started off as a platform structure and safety issue, but knowing that new construction meant they'd have to close down the stations for a long period of time, it was important to get as much work done as possible. You're looking at new 55 inch digital screens that provide information to commuters. Other new signs have large clear text showing the next bus or train. All of them can be used to provide immediate information if something does happen. These new fare gates even have a modern look with larger screens too. There's also an upgraded sitting area surrounded by glass that can be especially helpful during the colder months. New security cameras and LED lights help keep the station better lit and more secure. We've also added uh, on our pylons new customer emergency buttons that have camera feeds, right? So if you're experiencing an emergency on the platform, you can hit the button and it automatically goes to the station kiosk and the camera activates. And if the station manager isn't available in the kiosk at that present time, it fails over to our control center. So that's another nice uh, you know, safety feature uh, for our customers waiting for uh, service on the platform. Back out here live, you are actually seeing that emergency button right here towards the center of the platform and right above it. These are the new screens that tell you when the next car is going to be here. And you can see there's also a number of alerts on the bottom half of the screen as well. All morning, I've been checking that for you. And we've seen things from weather alerts to also letting people even know about an elevator that's no longer working. And of course, any delays that people can be expecting if they are going to be using the Metro system. For now, live at the Deanwood station along the Orange Line, Joy Wang, 7 News.